When you meditate, you're feeding the mind. You're feeding it with good food. You're feeding it with your intention. The Buddha says there are three kinds of food for the mind. There's contact, and there's consciousness, and then there's intention. And this is what you're changing right here, is the intention. We like to feed off of sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, but they don't really give much nourishment to the mind. The real nourishment comes from the way we intend to do things. Right now we're intending to create a state of concentration in the mind, get the mind to settle down, be still with the breath. That intention is nourishing for the mind, because it means you're acting on something skillful. We like to think of the meditation simply as rest, but there's work to be done in the, in the meditation too. You've got to maintain your intention and keep it going, and act in line with it. In other words, when the mind starts wandering off, you don't just let it wander as it likes. You find a skillful way to bring it back. Firm enough so it really does come back, but not so firm that it resists and it's going to bounce off again. So how do you usher it back to the present moment? And then how do you look over it to keep it there? These are the questions that come out of that original intention. So that you keep feeding on something skillful. It's the skillfulness of the intention that provides the real nourishment for the mind. Because we can live in a world where there's lots of hardship, but if everybody is acting in a very unskillful way, that makes it unbearable. We find ourselves doing unskillful things ourselves. That's really, really bad. You read about the situation in war, when people have to do things that they really hate doing. Now, totally discouraged they get, as opposed to cases where people are out, say, doing going exploring, enduring hardships, but they're doing it because they want to and they feel that it's something good. That's actually nourishing for the mind. The body may get tired, but the mind stays nourished. So it's your ability to stick with skillful intentions. That's what keeps the mind going, gives it energy. So make sure that you feed the mind in that way, whether it's through meditation, through acts of generosity, through the restraint of virtue. It's the intention that actually nourishes the mind and keeps it strong. So make sure that your intention is always in line with what true well-being and the path to true well-being will require.